Yeah, outside the box, outside the box, outside the box. Where do you think this one is? I don't know. It says think outside the box. I don't know. I'm thinking it's inside the box. Let's, Let's go, go look. check. <laughs> yeah, outside the box, outside the box, outside the box. No nope. outside. There it is. It's inside the box. <laughs> you gotta love that noise, eh? <laughs> it needs a catchy so, sound. That's our first one, okay? In Oklahoma. Yeah, first in Oklahoma, and that's awesome. But that's not the only thing that's to come here on this episode. It's a lot more than just one lamppost cache. More on. than one. Oh yeah, come on. Stick with us. It gets even better. <laughs> There's even bullets on there. I think it's in this corner. Oh, you're gonna be disturbing old Tom. It says only one stone needs to be unturned. Oh no, it's not there. What's underneath that shiny rock? Oh, okay, well maybe that one. Hmm. Ants. Well, <laughs> Thomas Edward Blackjack Ketchum, October 1863 to 1901. Tom and brother Sam chose the outlaw trail and paid the ultimate price. Sam was shot by a posse and is buried in Santa Fe. Tom was hung in Clayton and is buried here. That's a cool spot. But uh, unfortunately, we've disturbed Tom because it says only one stone needs to be uh, turned or otherwise you'll disturb him. Um, there's a whole bunch of DNF, so it was cool. But uh, we can't claim this is our first find in New Mexico. But there's another one close by. Let's check that one out. Hopefully that one's it. Santa Fe Trail, historical marker, and bada bing, Hello. bada boom. Got it. This one wasn't a DNF. Thank goodness. And that is the first geocache for us in the state of New Mexico. So, our first cache was a lamppost and that was for Oklahoma mm -hmm. and our second one here behind a reflector a large bison is for New Mexico our second new state and the surprise is coming up next what it all means what it all brings together stay tuned I can't wait Now this is what you call a park and grab. Holy dude, you can drive right up to this thing. This is really cool. It's a wagon train or a mule train and Lyric Lass thinks she sees it. Yes, she does. Let's take a look. Uh, right on the horse's ass. <laughs> donkey's ass. Oh, the donkey's ass. Right on the ass of the ass. <laughs> so, guess what? What? This is the first geocache mm -hmm. that we found. Where? In the state of Utah. Now we've got New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Utah to round out our 48 state caching. That's what was so big about what we were finding. We only needed three more mm. to get the lower 48, and this seals it right now. All we need now is... A pen. A pen. So the donkey or the mule is part of a, um, a silhouette series on the side of this hill that we could drive right up to. And we'll show you, we'll, we'll put it away, we'll drive down and we'll show you what it looks like. It's pretty cool. This is a really neat one to get as our first for Utah. So there you go, the lower 48. We're all done. 
Mm -hmm. Now we got to go back because we have to do the... Oh, the Cash Across America series. Oh, duh, duh, duh. Anyway, it just depends on what you put your mind to, what you can do with geocaching. You can fill grids, get a cache in every state, get the oldest in every state. It's all kinds of cool things you can do with geocaching. Yep. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you?